This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. thing they call the ramble i'm alex and we'll be here until midnight tonight hello everyone yes uh hold on a second i think i gotta change a few things here uh i um i have a you know i have little problems here now and then that i gotta take care of because there's you know uh, when i first go on on uh uh here we go that's it that's where we go okay now we're fine uh, anyway, uh, what happens is, is if I, um, um, uh, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? If I go away for a couple of days, like let's say we're not on for five days between the Friday and the Wednesday, okay, and I come back here, everything has changed, <laughs> and I've got to change it back, and it's just, it's not fun. Anyway, it's time, you know, uh, once a week uh, we, uh, we uh, sit down and uh, talk with an old friend, uh, somebody who, uh, uh, well, he's just, um, uh, you know, part, part, of the, uh, part of the mix here that we do every now and then. And uh, uh, if he, I don't see a picture on him. Let me see here. All I've got is his, there we go. Okay, there it, you it go. It automatically joins without the picture. Maybe it assumes that I'm not dressed. <laughs> so, <laughs> something know? like that. Yeah. Hi. How are you? I'm I'm okay, but you know, I, I'm I'm ready to get back to normal. I'm ready for things to to be the way they were a couple of years ago. I'm, I'm getting really tired of uh, uh, this variant, that variant. Uh, this one gives you the influ uh, the flu. I'm I'm just I'm just ready now. They want people in California to mask up again uh, mm -hmm. inside. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, Phil, if that's what we got to do, that's what we got to do. If we're going to beat this thing, I'm not so sure we need to do it. Well, you know, what, what, I, no, I think you're being ridiculous. I think, uh, bet, uh, uh, whatever happened to your uh, belief and my belief and everybody's belief that an ounce of prevention prevention is worth a pound of cure. Yeah, I believe that um, two years ago. No, you're just... You're just getting, and I believed it for two weeks. Yeah, but you're getting to the point where you're getting tired of this, and I'm not. I mean, uh, my feeling is, hey, you know, uh, I hope and I pray that this thing is over soon. But if it's not, then we just go for, with it for the long haul, you know? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm ready for it to be over. You know, it's, well, I mean, it's, we're all ready for it to be over, Phil. Yeah. But, I mean, what are you going to do about it? You can't do anything. You can't change it, you know? Yeah. I mean, at well, least it's, it, it, the, the feeling is that the Omicron is, uh, is not uh, that as terrible as we thought it was going to be. Yeah. And, and that the current um, uh, booster shot will take care of it. Okay, so they said that Johnson and Johnson is not working on the Omicron. Johnson and Johnson doesn't work on anybody. Anybody who's got Johnson and Johnson, go out and get the other one. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 the Johnson and Johnson to begin with, they said, "Oh, it's only one. It's only one dose," but it was like seventy-one percent efficacy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they go, "Oh, it's one dose. Okay, it's fine. I I'm glad it's one dose." Uh, but if it were two doses, it'd be up to the efficacy of the other two. So what they were doing was they were saying, I just get one. Yeah. You know, and I, they I, should have I, said, you got to get two of Johnson and Johnson as well. But the Johnson and Johnson was a perfect shot for, uh, homeless, uh, people living on the street. Uh, you know, because were you ever going to get those guys to return? I mean, were you ever going to get them to come in for the first shot? Well, if they at least got one, it gives them some level of protection. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, I, I'm just uh, look for somebody who's complaining about it. You have all three shots, right? Right. Right. So shut up. 
And plus, I got the flu shot the other day. Plus, you got the flu shot. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm inoculated all over the place. Yeah. yeah. So, so, I mean, I, I just don't, uh, I, I, you know, I don't uh, buy it, you know. Uh, it, it, you got you to go along with it, Phil. You got to not give up on it. And uh, we're going to be okay, but we have, we're, we, it's, it's a long haul deal. I think yeah. it's going to be a long time before we actually see ourselves get back to any kind of normal. Yeah, it's 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 no fun. You know, uh, San Francisco, though, is going in an opposite direction than New York when it comes to crime. Our mayor here uh, sounds like Rudy Giuliani uh, is invading her uh, her soul because now she's saying we there's no room for crime we have to go after these people that are doing smash and grabs mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we have and and london breed was uh, also coming uh, the mayor of san francisco was saying that the um uh, the attorney uh, not the attorney general but the um, the district attorney of san mm -hmm. francisco uh who was the son of a terrorist uh what was uh, uh he was the son of a terrorist yeah, uh, I believe, was he one of, uh, don't take a drink on this one, but wasn't he the son of one of the SLA uh, people, uh, uh, I, I, or, or the Weather well, Underground? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. What's his name? Uh, now, that, of course, uh, you know. Uh, well, if he had his name, I could probably tell you whether, right, well, you let me, know. Let me, uh, let me look up his name. Yeah. Uh, SF District. Yeah, you're not going to be able to have a drink on this one, folks. He already warned you ahead of time. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know if it's going to. Uh, there was other things in my uh, mm -hmm. search. Uh, yeah, uh, Chastain or something like that. Uh, Bodine. Bo uh, Bodine. Uh, anyway. Well, it, it, anyway, so what if his father was a terrorist? Let's just say right. that. Well, he, Since, he, is, he is very progressive. He doesn't want anybody to go to jail. Uh, there's no bail. There's no things, and and the cops are getting frustrated because people are. I think are, you're maybe overstating it. I mean, I'm not there, so I can't fight you on what you're saying. But I think you're probably paraphrasing what's going on there. You know, I'm sure he doesn't let every crime go unchallenged. Chelsea Bodine. Chelsea uh, Bodine. So uh, there was a Bodine. Uh, 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 yeah, he's. Uh, Chelsea Bodine, uh, Kathy Bodine is his mother. Kathy Bodine, uh, I know that name. Yeah. Now I think that she was. She she, uh, she had something to do with the explosion on Eighth uh, Street or wherever, right next yeah. to Dustin Hoffman's place. I I'm not sure if it was Dustin Hoffman's place, but yeah, there was Dustin Hoffman's place was right next door, and the building exploded because they were supposedly building bombs. Oh, okay. Uh, it wasn't that they were uh, uh, doing a uh, an armored car robbery or something. I don't know. I mean, uh, well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Kathy, Kathy Bodine. Ka Kathy Bodine. Did you just look up Kathy Bodine? Uh, well, I oh, looked up let me, let Chelsea me look Bodine. Up, let me let me look up Kathy Bodine. Yeah, it might be spelled B O U D I N. D I N. I don't know. O U D I N. Kathy That's, Botine, oh. uh, no teacher. Oh, um, let me see. Oh, here she is. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Um, no, she is. A former medic, uh, member of the radical left militant organization, the Weather Underground. Oh, the Weather Underground. Okay, well. Felony murder for the role in a Brinks robbery in 1981. Uh, yes. And the killing of two Nyack police officers and one security mm -hmm. guard. Okay, so how is it the son's fault? Uh, it's it's not the son's fault, but you know his his leanings are going to be uh, most likely similar to his parents. You know, I mean, you, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, and uh, but what what's happening is is now there's a recall mm -hmm. to get rid of him. Now in in New York, it's the other way around. Your your mayor uh, De Blasio. Mm -hmm. is uh is locking down things uh he's he's not supporting uh uh the uh, the he's supporting the no bail letting letting people out of jail you know as soon as they commit the crime uh give them a ticket 
And well, uh, I mean, I th I think we over we overdo punishing crime. What okay. about the guy in in uh, Waukesha, Wisconsin? Who uh, ran over his girlfriend? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute. Mother wait a minute, of wait a, minute, wait a minute! Stop there! Stop. We let there. him out with a thousand dollars. Stop there! Stop yeah. there! All right. That I would, you know, that I'm, I'd say this guy because he killed, I think, four people. Was, six, I thought. Six was it? Yeah. Um, driving uh, his car over them while they were parading, and he injured sixty. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I think that guy should have the book thrown at him. Okay. Yeah. But I think we, I think we make people, we throw the book at some people who don't, shouldn't have the book thrown at them because what they did wasn't that terrible. You know, uh, I'm sure it depends on whether they're a flight risk or not, or whether they're a danger or to, to themselves or others. But you know, this guy uh, has a rap sheet, 50 pages and, uh, you know, they, they let him out with a thousand dollars bail but, 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 after but, but, he ran but, over but, a woman. But, but, but you're getting far away from this question well, of your this, current this, district attorney. It, well, this is what's happening. These progressive district attorneys, both in New York. No, uh, people don't go out and commit crimes because a progressive district attorney is lenient on some things. OK, they don't suddenly say, oh, good, it's it's open season. I can go out and do all these crimes I've been always dying to do. You're nuts, Phil. Oh. They just don't. It doesn't operate that way. Now, you don't think that these people have been, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, in, emboldened to do these smash and grab robberies because uh, they the smash and that... grab robberies, uh, Phil, are and they're saying this are organized on Snapchat. Uh, but they're organized, and they are uh, uh, a form of, of uh, organized crime. Yeah. How uh, does Snapchat uh, uh, work? Wait a minute. But it's not individuals like you and me suddenly say, hey, I think I want a Tiffany, oh, uh, you know. No, I, I understand. But it's emboldening uh, people to, to do certain types of crime because they know that uh, they're not going to be uh, they're not either they're not going to be arrested because it's under nine hundred and fifty dollars or uh, they if they are I arrested, don't think that it, out on the street I, in, I, in a few minutes. I don't think that emboldens them. I mean, I don't know what is causing all the crime that we have in this country, but it isn't certainly doesn't have anything to do with leniency. All right. The, uh, there's a lot of people that think it does. Well, I don't. Me, and me, me for one. Yeah. Well, I don't. You yeah. know, I mean, now, if if there's no consequences, uh, people will. Some people will do things that uh, because they're not going to be held accountable. Why do you stop at a stop sign uh, when when there's nobody around? Uh, you do it because it's it's the right thing to do and it's the norms of of uh, yes, but uh, uh, what I'm, what, Phil, what I'm saying is, is I don't think people go around saying I can do this now because we got a district attorney who will let me get away with it. Now, uh, first of all, let's let's go where you started this conversation. All right, you were trying to blame him for being the son of somebody who was with the Weather Underground and I believe built bombs. Right? I, I was telling you that this is the progressive district attorney district attorney that we have in San Francisco. And mm -hmm. uh, I was trying to identify him and, and his upbringing. But uh, yeah, but what, how do you know that was his upbringing? Well, uh, that was, you who know. was who was the guy? I'm trying to remember his name now. Uh, I got to know some of these people. Mm -hmm. um, the guy who was. Uh, Remember, uh, they said Obama was friends with him. Oh yeah, yeah, that uh, was. Um, uh, uh, he became uh, an educator. Yeah, uh, yeah. He was. Um, oh, geez, uh, I can't remember his name either. But he, I thought it was. He wasn't SLA. Was he in Weather Underground? Hmm. Was he one of the Weather yeah, Underground? Yeah, yeah. He yeah. was one of the guys. He was one of the people that supposedly fled that building that blew up. Yeah. Because they were making bombs supposedly inside. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, um, uh, I got to know, uh, you know, I was in there, his presence. David Ayers? The, Rob, Bill Ayers. Bill, Bill Ayers. Bill Ayers. Yeah. 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 He had the same name as a guy named Father Bill Ayers, but Bill Ayers. Yeah. 
Uh, Bill Ayers uh, was, I went to a, uh, um, a, f a f memorial for a friend of mine who was a leftist, a radical, you know. Uh, and I went there and there was, uh, Bill Ayers was there, you know. Uh, and, um, you know, he actually turned into a very good educator. And he turned into a guy who was really good at, at building up educational systems and things like that. Um, he didn't hurt anybody. He just blew up a building because they didn't <laughs> hurt anybody. Because they, no, be, no, he didn't hurt anybody. They all got out of there. Okay. Yeah. Now I don't know Kathy Bodine. I believe maybe she was involved in the blowing up of the uh, bathroom at the Capitol, but I don't know that she killed On January sixth. <laughs> I know, no, I don't know that she killed anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, she killed uh, two police officers. Oh, really? And a security okay. guard. All right. I, I, then I, I, I don't know where I know her name from, but I do know her name. Well, okay. she was Weather Underground, and she was married to one of the other ones. Uh, uh, I can't remember. Uh, let me see if I can find who she was married to. <laughs> that would be the father of the district attorney. Yeah, but I think he has a different name. Uh, uh, hmm. nah, it's, um, yeah, I looked up Kathy Bodine, but all it came up with was like a teacher in somewhere. So yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I don't really have it. Some of jailed radicals. Now, uh, jailed radicals must mean that the father, yeah, father gets parole after forty years. David Gilbert, uh, was that uh, him? Uh, I think that's the father, David Gilbert. Uh, he was the leader of the Weather Underground, but paroled in 2003. Is it, is it Bodine with a U-E kind of? B-O-U-D-I-N, not like the bread. B, 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 what, how's it spelled? Uh, B-O-U-D-I-N. B-O-U-D-I-N. Okay, Bodin in uh, French. Uh, the uh, father was David Gilbert. Uh, I, I don't I remember him. Oh, okay, but, here we go, here we go. Um, a, a, a member of the radical uh, weather underground who was convicted of a murder, uh, felony murder, uh, for her role in Brinks robbery of 1981. The robbery resulted in the killing of two Nyack police officers. She was released from prison and um, in parole in parole in 2003 and became an adjunct professor at Columbia University. Yeah. Well, nobody said that she wasn't smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, here's the thing. See, this, yeah. and her, her children, her only, uh, it says her ch children, there's only one child by David Gilbert, Chesia, uh, Ch yeah. Chesia Bodine. Yeah. And That's, he's the district attorney. It's C H E A E S A, right? Yeah. Now, here's my question for you How old is he? I don't think he's that old. He's, I, my guess, just looking mm -hmm. looking at the photos I've seen, I would say he's in his late thirties, early forties. So, so probably he was not raised by her. Well, she got out in two thousand three. Yeah, maybe he wasn't raised by her. Yeah, but yeah. you don't think that there's some influence and uh, uh, that, uh, and then also the father, um, uh, David Gilbert. Yeah. I, what, what was his uh, uh, pedigree? Uh, who, who did he kill or blow up? I don't uh, know. Uh, uh, David Gilbert. Uh, guilty of murder. Um, well, Bill Ayers, Bill Ayers had a, uh, uh, the, his girlfriend, what was her name? Hold on a second, because she was there too. Uh, Bill Ayers. Um, Birds of a feather, huh? Bill Ayers. Okay. Bill Ayers. This is bringing by a whole bunch of history that I have a hard time remembering. Uh, and, uh, he's a Roman Catholic. That's Bill Ayers, radio no. talk show host. We don't want that. No. no. Uh, oh, Gilbert was serving 75 years to life for, play, uh, uh, for playing a role in a fatal robbery in what, 81. Was it Bob oh, Ayers, maybe? Uh, David Gil... Oh, uh, Bill Ayers is uh is the uh the weather underground guy really uh, oh wait a minute uh after being released uh his adopted he was adopted by bill Ayers. 
That was Bodine's adopted father, and Bernadette Dorn was the adopted Bernadette mother. Bernadette Dorn. Okay. Bernadette Dorn, I also was at this gathering. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I, t I think I talked about it on this show, if I'm not mistaken, or, or, or on the radio show that I was doing at Sirius XM. And what I was talking about was the fact that they were, it was like I thought I was going to be with a bunch of old, you know, radical lefties who yeah. ha ha were still spouting the same stuff. And what I found were people who had evolved but also held on to strong beliefs. And well, I you really, mean like uh, David Ru uh, Rubin? David, was it David Rubin? David Rubin. Uh, uh, Jerry Rubin, Jerry Rubin. Oh, Jerry Rubin was a... Didn't he become very conservative? He, yeah, but he was an asshole. He was really an asshole. <laughs> he was a conservative, and to you, all yeah. conservatives are assholes. Yeah, but was uh, Bodine asshole. was born in August of 1980. Okay. So anyway, so Bernadine Dorn, mm -hmm. when, I, when I was with... I've talked about this guy who died. When I, we were staying... We used to go up state to stay with he and his, uh, his uh, partner. I, I don't want to call her wife or whatever because that might upset her. Well, uh, is was that the guy that you knew? Um, not Jerry Rubin. The the, the yippy yuppie. Uh, well, yippy. It was, well, it was Judy Gumbo and Stu Albert. Oh no, different guy. Okay, so Stu Albert and Judy Gumbo, uh, and uh, they had a place upstate, and he was very much a rather. He was I was kind of like I called him the Henry Kissinger of the lefties. You know, he did all the mediating and so on and so forth. And so we would go up and stay with him. And he and Judy, out in the woods, they had this place. And we stayed there. We found out later that uh, part of my, uh, 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 part of their FBI record was that the FBI was spying on that house. And we are listed in there as having come to visit him. Because I have an FBI uh, Did you get a copy of your FBI file? No, I never. Uh, I the never Freedom had, of Information. But I, supposedly, I'm in there because I was known to uh, uh, hang out with radicals. Well, it'd be interesting to get your. Uh, I was also Freedom one of, of Information I was, Act. I was also one of Nixon's. Uh, not, the, the not, not the not the first list, but the se there was a second list. Of so like you were about, a B list, uh, uh, a B lister, in the of about ten White House, ten thousand people. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I was on that list of 10,000 people to be audited by the IRS. Okay. Wow. Okay. So anyway, but the point was that we were staying up there and I f went to sleep and uh, I caught a nap in the afternoon or something. When I woke up, my girlfriend said, you know who was here and just left? And I said, no, he said, uh, uh, what, what's his name? Bill Ayers. And what? Bernadine Dorn. And they were on the run from the law at that time because of the bombing on, I think it was 8th Street or something. Um, so uh, I, I was, I, and I went, darn it, I wish I had done, you know. So you slept through that. <laughs> I, I slept through them. They, they stopped momentarily to say hello to Stu and then to move on because they didn't want to stay there because they knew he was probably being watched, right? And, and he was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, that that was a that was a time, you know, years years ago. You know, I grew up in those in those years. Well, and, I I had you know, I had some kind of interesting adventures that way. I mean, uh, Abby Hoffman, while he was in right. hiding, I was hanging out. That's why I thought you were talking about until you told me their names. No, no. But you know, it was hard for me to remember all the names and stuff like that. But yeah. anyway, so so you don't blame this guy because his parents happened to be. You know, uh, weather ground radical leftists, right? <laughs> Including Bill Ayers and Bernadette Dorn, who were on the run. <laughs> Bernadine Dorn, and Ber yeah. Bernadine. So uh, anyway, that's what we have. Uh, but now the mayor of San Francisco, who was in lockstep with uh, uh, Bodin, uh, is now sounding very much like she was in the Rudy Giuliani school of mayor and being a mayor. Uh, you know, I, I'm going to stop the crime where people are going to go to jail. Uh, the district attorney is going to have to start charging these people. And uh, so it's kind of the opposite of what's happening in New York. But in New York, you've got a case right now in the Supreme Court, uh, which is the New York Rifle and Pistol uh, Association uh, versus uh, uh, New York. Mm -hmm. And um, 
uh, it, it's they're arguing for concealed carry permits, and you could see uh, the the way the New York uh, solicitor is trying to support her case that they don't want people to have legally they don't want people to have guns they they're they're fine taking guns off the street from criminals if they happen to come across them but they don't want legal possession and uh i have a feeling things are going to change in new york with this uh supreme court uh decision and uh you know and because build back better has sort of gone the way of the dodo bird today uh that that uh well for they, te temporarily they just aren't yeah. going to take care of it this year yeah, until they can get somebody else to 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 join and join them but uh the, the uh they're talking about packing the court again and doing everything they can do they want to federalize uh, the vote mm -hmm. you know because they the, the, these the leftists want power and and this is how they're going to do it they know if they federalize the vote they're going to be able to uh, get around those red states that seem to be a thorn in their side, right? No. What, but what happens is, is that the Republicans, through gerrymandering, have jimmy-rigged the system. Oh, you mean like the states that are popular, you know, that's a gerrymandered state? No, it's one where you, where you, where you, you make congressional districts by skirting around certain areas and creating these incredible, I mean, uh, yeah. Well, it, it, that's, I think they claim that both sides are doing that. You know, whenever one side gets in power, they, they do that to, to make their case stronger. Look, you know, I think that it is sad what has happened to the Republican Party, okay? I always liked the idea of an opposition and a loyal opposition, but the Republicans have gotten pretty skeezy, Phil. And I, I don't know how you defend it or okay. whether or whether you really just are defending it because Example you think it makes good programming. You know, Adam Schiff, Adam Schiff, he actually, they're saying that he made up information about emails from... Uh, 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 Trump Jr. Uh, 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 to uh, Meadows, uh, and and so they're finding out that Adam Schiff again is making up stuff, you know, just to try and uh, and, and and where hurt. did you hear that he made it up? Uh, I read it on uh, I, I I heard it on Fox and I read it on Epoch. Uh -huh. Okay, so what are those yeah. two? What are those two? media sources have in common they're going to tell you the truth where other media sources are going to uh, left-wing media sources are going to hide that information by uh mm -hmm. burying the story yeah let me just bring in some other people here stick around will you i don't want you going anywhere because i right. you know I, I, here we go and uh we have phil <laughs> we have jeff jeff Move like your Kilroy. Let's, yeah, we need. We don't. Like, Kilroy was here. People don't know when we say that what that means. But it used yeah. to be that everywhere, you had uh, pictures of a guy's head, just his head, like his eyes, like that, and his hands up like this. I think, yeah. you know, it was kind of this over a fence or something. Yeah, and it was, and the the motto was Kilroy was here. Yeah. Now, what that had to do with anything, I can't begin to tell you. But I'm just. Uh, it's similar it to Eat at Joe's. So, you know, give us more of a camera there. Uh, uh, Jeff, just move your camera a little bit more so we can see your whole face. He uh, likes the beard. Yeah, he, you know, <laughs> he likes seeing well, your beard. All, all you guys do, do you have a laptop? Is that a laptop? Uh, I'm using my wife's thing right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you see you moved it again. Yeah, just, just pull it Just, just pull it for, towards you. Pull, pull the laptop towards you, the lid towards you. Uh, oh really? Yeah. This one? Yeah. No. This no, one, like no. we can see? No. The, Doesn't you, want to move. Are you using? Oh, there I am. Are you using a laptop, Jeff? Jeff, can you hear me? There oh, we that's go. it. Oh, there you go. Problem. Score one okay. for Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, hey. You know, I, I, you know, oh, I mean, went back. I, I, if you wanted to say to me. All of Congress and the Senate suck. I go along with you. Yes, they do. Okay, then I go along with you. All Absolutely. Right? All right. 
Is that so? You know, that's why they've had a 13%, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, satisfaction or 13% uh, approval uh, rating. Mm -hmm. that, you know, that, that means that 87% don't approve of what the Congress is doing, and it's been that way for years. John Larkin's joining us. Hello, John. He's in San hey, Francisco, John. too. Yeah. Hey, uh, I just wanted to let you know that, uh, that David Gilbert guy never killed the cop. He was driving a U-Haul truck. That wasn't even the getaway truck when the murder took place. So why did they why did they uh, put him in with the other ones? Because they were fucking railroaded. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Jeff, your head. Look. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can't you see me now? No, you, you, you were OK there. Now you're OK. See? See? OK. Anyway, where, where were you, John? John, can, can continue with talking what about David saying. Gilbert. Yeah. yeah, he 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 was and the father. Raise he, it a little. He is the father of Chesa Bowden, but he never murdered anybody. He was just driving the uh, the U-Haul truck, and it wasn't even the getaway car that they used. And uh, he got seventy five years prison sentence for that, uh, just for being associated with the people that robbed the bank. Um, was uh, did did Bodine's position? help him in being released from jail and when was he released from jail he was he was pardoned by or commuted by cuomo andrew cuomo okay. and in in november of this last year so he was just just let out <laughs> but he did what like 50 years or so in prison mm. wow. pam, I, yeah, wait a minute hold on pam you're there with yeah. Jeff. all we want to do is see his full face look you see in the in the video you see how, how you I'm having, yes, I see all, it. All I'm you, not quite sure. All you have to do is are you using a laptop. Yeah. There, there we go. That's there you it. go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Boy, that was good. Yeah. I was crazy. wondering, um, um, what was the guy or the guy from uh, Kentucky? Is he okay? Oh, hey. uh, Vernon Nunn? Oh, yeah. 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 We, we, fine. Uh, Alex uh, reached out, uh, helped me uh, reach I, out. I'm going to tell you something. I know what you're all thinking. Phil is a fucking asshole. All right. All right. And and I agree with you. At times I feel he's a fucking asshole. But he called me, got a hold of me the other day when I didn't even know about these tornadoes. And he said, is Vernon okay? Can you give me his uh, his email address so I can write him? Or, uh, and and I, I said, uh, yeah, sure. You know, and that's the kind of person Phil is, you know, yeah. I mean, he cared about <laughs> Vernon and I, you know, of course I think the world of Vernon, but I didn't even know those, those tornadoes were going on. But, um, that was very nice of you, Phil. Oh, thank you. You know, I mean, uh, I like Vernon and, you know, even, even if I didn't like him, I'd still reach out to him. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I talked to Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Did you reach out to Shrek? <laughs> That'd be a funny call. <laughs> but um, uh, you know, I mean, it, it, it to begin with. Uh, well, let me ask you. Um, uh, well, he did reach out to me, Alex. I know he. Did. Yeah, and he told me I'm glad your mom died. But I just feel like you're joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I know she uh, tried uh, to take. Wait a minute. Mom. I want to ask John something. The, yeah. the the district attorney in San Francisco. What is your take on him? He's got a tough job. He's not doing a bad job. He's just got a tough job, you know. I mean, yeah, you know, this the pandemic turned all these crazy people out on the streets, mm -hmm. and you know, I mean, I'm the, you know, there are crazy people that come out and take advantage of good protest, you know, good, you know, I mean, the Black Lives Matter, all those those innocent black people that were being mad, murdered deserve you know people coming out on the streets mm -hmm. but you know people got overboard and they went crazy and a lot of those people weren't didn't give a shit about black lives matters they were just out to rip off uh you know gucci stores and shit right and right uh, those guys should be thrown in jail exactly exactly uh yes uh, yes uh, uh, so let, let me Alan. let me comment on on the uh the DA in San Francisco. So he's only been DA for a couple of years in San Francisco. So what you don't get, John, and I'd be happy to forward you if you gave me your email address, you may not even want it. But I get stuff from the San Francisco Police Officers Association and the cops do not like this guy because really? a, lot of, 
wait yeah. a minute, wait a minute, wait a lot of cases that are coming to the DA to be prosecuted, he is not prosecuting them. And I, I don't care if the guy's, he's super liberal or he's not liberal or whatever, he's not a good DA. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty much on the fence. You know, I can be persuaded either way because I live here and I see all the shit on the street every day. Drives I, I me see it too crazy. when I come to San Francisco. Yeah, it drives me you crazy. Know, he, he, is, he has released, the cops have built the case you know, uh, against somebody that stabbed somebody and the guy released him. He said, well, you know, it was mutual combat. Two little old Chinese ladies at a bus stop get stabbed by this guy and he re he releases them and he goes back out. Two days later, the guy's crazy, he goes back out and kills somebody. Now the DA is interested. But, but uh, do you buy the fact that he was the the son of a radical, and so therefore that's why he is the way he is. Are you talking about the DA? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, but I think he's. I don't I think just so. think he's a horrible DA. Well, she was in jail probably for most of his upbringing. Well, he yeah. was born in August of twenty first, nineteen eighty. Yeah, yeah, oh, really? yeah. And when so he, he was raised by Bill Ayers and some other. Yeah, lady. she was raised by Bill. Oh, well, of course oh. that that's that's your radical upbringing. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. <laughs> the Weather Underground, right? Huh? The guy, the was guy he the is, Weather Underground? I think he was, right? He was yeah, involved in yeah, that. Yeah. Weather Underground, yeah. yeah. We're talking about San Francisco DA still. But Bill right? Ayers right. has turned That's out... His, uh, let, let me, uh, let me say this. Brought him up. Bill Ayers has turned out to be a pretty exemplary human being. I mean, He does he, food thing, Alex. Doesn't he do that food drive or something? I remember reading of stuff. I think he's, he's out of... Uh, isn't he out of um, upstate New York? Uh yeah, I think you're right. Cause I... Buffalo, something like that. Yeah. You know, in San Francisco, they want a liberal DA, and that's that's okay. You know, but the, the guy's got to, you know, he's got to, he's got to, uh, you know, try and do convictions. He's got to try and get the bad people off the street. I don't care about the guy that's in the corner doing meth or something like that. Who cares? Well, I think, you know, I think. When look, there's violence look, look, involved. Look. I the think, DA needs to yeah, take a step yeah, forward. But, but I think that, and and you can you probably yell at me for this, but I quite frankly think we are too harsh on crime. In other words, we have far too many people incarcerated, and in California, they're trying to lower the. They're trying to let people go because they just got more people than they can afford to take care of. Yeah, I know. So I've I'll talked give... to the. I've talked to the cops on the street in, in the tenderloin, you know, and I'll say, hey, you know, you know, what, what about all these guys are just stealing out right on the corner in broad daylight? Why don't you guys do something? And they're like, what are we going to do? We, we arrest them and they're let out immediately because we the, the system can't handle all the small time drug dealers that are on the streets. You know, they just can't. Handle them. There's no there's no there's no capacity to put all these people in jail. You got you got the small time drug dealers, you got the crazy people, homeless people on the street, you know, you just got no room for them. Yeah. You know, so the so to bring up something that Phil was talking about it, it included in all this. I think the bad guys watch what the DA will do and if they know they can get away with crimes, they will do yeah. more. I I I'll don't give, I don't wait, really let me, let me give you an example. In California, the last DA in San Francisco uh, put together a Gaston. law. Gaston yeah. put together a law called Proposition Forty Seven in California, and it backfired on him. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think he anticipated what was going to happen. But Proposition Forty Seven said, release all the people that were uh, convicted of low-level crimes, mm -hmm. uh, auto burglary, all that kind of crap, which was a low-level crime to him. Mm -hmm. And then, then, then the 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 the, the city went nuts. The car break-ins constantly, and and the new law says, not including the damage to the car, they don't arrest somebody unless there's at least a thousand and one dollars worth of stuff taken out of the car, not including the damage they do breaking the window to get into the car. I'm Break afraid to drive my car into San Francisco. I actually had a safe. Uh, it's 40 inches wide and like 18 inches deep, uh, bolted in the back of my car so that if I have something of value and I need to park somewhere in the city, I can put it in there and they're going to need a lot more than a crowbar to get it out. Yes. 
No, they but just they, take the car. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. I was going to say Absolutely. that. They could just steal the so, car. You know. I mean, they have Proposition 47, then a couple of years later, if it wasn't bad enough in, the, in California, they came out with Proposition 57, which made it, uh, you know, if a, if a homeless guy breaks into a car or is doing a low-level offense like using meth or something like that, mm -hmm. he, he gets, uh, you know, schooling or a slap on the wrist. These these people that get arrested for these low level crimes, not all of them, but a lot of them will turn into big time uh, criminals. Well, they'll just keep doing what they're doing. Absolutely. One, one, one thing, though, about this recall of, of Odin, um, I'm not sure I agreed it with that because uh, who who's going to take his place? And if you look at the money that's behind this um, group, that's doing the recall it all comes from you know right-wing republican no, they're saying it comes from soros george soros is funding oh, these no, in no, contra no. costa county uh we have uh also a, a soros appointed or not a soros funded a very uh, liberal DA. DA. yeah no, uh, soros doesn't even have any fifty dollars to the person running against her um mary knox no not soros Come on. Well, that's what that's that's what they're saying. Forget, forget, forget about like, Soros yeah, for a minute. The recall in San Francisco for the DA, I I think they can do better. You know, it's a big city, and you need somebody well, that's not. Well, yeah, but here's elect, the thing. Here's the, wait, 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 let me let me, let me let me let me Gaston say Gaston was the previous DA, and and he's no good for L.A. Gaston, look what they're doing. They're trying to recall can, him can in I, LA. Can I please that's, that's say, say too something? Too much Fox here. News, Phil. Don't 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 no, buy that. No, Fox I, I agree with Fox Phil. I guess I can't to say Fox anything news. here. <laughs> oh, Alex wants to Fox News, and I have no. Alex, what I'm saying is, is that I think that we um, are, are just a little too harsh in our sentencing. I'm not saying that people shouldn't be called to account for something they do. To begin with. I think they, there should only be one thing that makes something a crime. Did it hurt somebody? And to what extent? And if, so, it, so, you know, so and so stealing all your stuff and breaking your car window when you park to go have Then you're hurting friend. somebody. Now, it, it's not a physical hurt like stabbing somebody, but yeah. But we have a lot. But we and have look, a, look at the consequences, Alex, of uh, what's happening to stores, Walgreens. Okay, which all right. I, I'm, I'm tired of this because here's why I'm tired of it, okay? Yeah. And let me just make this point. Yeah. I think that the problem with cops is, and the problem with the job they're given, is they're not there to protect people. They're there to protect property. No, they're there no, to take repeal. they're no, there to the other way the, around. No, I'm, you're, you were a cop. Phil was a cop. Believe me, cops are simply the gatekeepers uh, for preventing people uh, from uh, uh, doing something to property. Uh, That's cops, the main thing. We spend more time wanna, arresting people Alex, for crimes against property, burning property, doing this to property, doing that to property. And, you know, when it happens, something happens to people, we're not as aggressive. We're oh, not yeah. as aggressive. Cops don't want to do anything anymore. The, the last two years and the things that are going on, they say, why should I risk my retirement, my livelihood, everything I've worked for, uh, for this? Hey, you know, let them kill each other and we'll just take the report. Mm -hmm. they, okay. they, Anybody they, else have something to say here? Yes. So, so Phil, you, you, you basically are arguing against the Fox News um, uh, theory that the Democrats are causing all the crime. You just said it's the cops. Are, no, are not I, that's not anything. what I said. What right. I said is that the cops don't want to put themselves in a position where they're going to get sued or go to jail or end up like that guy uh, with the George Floyd thing. They, they, they don't want to they don't want to put themselves in that kind of position. So that's what that right there argues against the case that the Democrats uh, are causing all the problems. No, it's no, no, no. You're 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 OK. You're, all right. You're, all right. You're, all right. He's not, he's not saying right. the Democrats uh, are just, causing uh, all the uh, Take a little breath, Phil. And let's hear from some other people here. <clears throat> um, yeah, I want to hear what yeah. Alan says about that. Well, uh, well, I, 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 I well, what Alan's I don't know. Alex wants to hear from other people. Well, yeah, sorry. yeah. Um, uh, Vernon, hi. How you doing? 
you I'm weathered okay. the storm. Yeah, t tornado. I'm, I'm doing okay. The, yeah. the prob the problem is we we've got another tornado watch oh, on the no. horizon because no. it was 68 degrees today in December. It's interesting wow. the Tornado Alley, which used to be a designation given to a bunch of states in the Midwest and Oklahoma and places like that. Yep. Uh, now Tornado Alley uh, is now moved east. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the sad Alex. thing is, coming up this weekend, it's supposed to be cold and rainy when these people are trying to dig out from all the rubble in Maysville. Wow. Mayfield. How far away from you is that? Mayfield is about a two and a half hour drive okay. from, from where I live. Did you That's feel close. any of the consequences of the tornadoes where you were? Not at all. Not at all. Okay. There was a little damage uh, down in Spencer County, which is about... 40 miles southeast mm -hmm. of where I live, mm -hmm. a little bit of damage there, mm -hmm. but most of it was concentrated in Western Kentucky, okay. Dawson Springs, Bowling Green, those areas. Yeah. yeah. I heard the Corvette plant, that this would be uh, Brian's territory, but the Corvette plant was destroyed or, or damaged in Bowling Green. Most of the damage was in a residential neighborhood. They had 500 houses destroyed in Bowling Green. Oh, yeah. 500. Wow. Hmm. That's like up here when we have the wildfires. Uh, you know something, as long as we're talking about the tornadoes, uh, I get so mad watching the news because they spend, they spent like the first uh, 15 minutes every night for three nights running on the late evening, on the early evening news covering the tornadoes in Kentucky. Now, I think that's fine and I think it's an important story. But it wasn't so much that they were reporting the story as much as they were exploiting the people who were the story. Did, did you get that feeling? I agree. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, they go to somebody and she says, and I lost everything I have. And then she breaks down. She starts crying. And rather than saying, cut, <laughs> you know, let's not broadcast this. They broadcast every tear. No, no that's, they, that's they try to television. make him cry more. Huh? They that's try to make television. him cry more. How do you feel about that? Did you see that? Is that your is that your baby's blanket on the floor? Is that your baby's crib over there? And they try to make him cry more. They poke him with a stick. I've told yeah. I've told this story before when we had the big earthquake, Loma Prieta, in eighty nine. Yeah. Uh, and I was in the marina, and the marina was pretty much devastated, if you may remember. Uh, at least everything below Chestnut Street. Um, uh, it was, uh, uh, I was helping a friend of mine. I, I uh, my apartment was, had some cracks in the wall, but that was about it. It was very small damage. I lost a bookcase fell, all right? Uh, but this person, her building was redlined. And what redlined was, you had to go in with a member of the fire department or whatever and get your stuff out, and then you had like 20 minutes or 30 minutes to get your stuff out, and then you had to find some place to stay. So I went and helped her pack up her stuff. Phil, wait a moment, uh, uh, to, to uh, pack up her stuff, and we put it in a, I remember in a, uh, in a uh, what do you call it, one of those? Uh, Garbage little, bag. No, in a, a. Wheelbarrow? No, in a, it's on wheels, uh, you know, thing. Like wagon, yeah, wagon, a little wagon, you know, kids use. And we were taking what stuff of hers we could gra grab in 20 minutes, and we're m walking out of the out of the marina, and we're walking past the house that had come all the way down. In fact, somebody was in that house when it came down. On um, Divisadero and North Point. No, it was one street over from Divisadero. I can't remember what street it was. Broderick, Broderick. No, Broderick is the other way. Away. Yeah. But anyway, because I lived on Bro uh, Broadway. I lived on North Point and Broadway. Okay. Mm -hmm. And but anyway, the, the point was don't don't flummox me up, Phil. I'm getting <laughs> old here and I'm trying to get through a story. And and uh, the building literally what had been a three story building was now a one story building. And the story goes that that house actually came down and somebody who survived it just walked as soon as it hit bottom walked out the window 
And they were on the third floor. They were on the third floor. Yeah. Wow. So anyway, yeah. but anyway, let me finish the story, Phil, please. Yeah, I was going to just have a conversation no, with you. No, I don't want a conversation right, right now. I want to tell the story and get through it. Right. So we're standing there, and all of a sudden a reporter comes up to and says, do you mind if we talk to you? And uh, we went, sure, fine, that's okay, you know. And so he, the camera po points itself at us, and the guy points his microphone at us, and they turn on the camera, and the minute they do that, all of a sudden there are 20 other cameras. It was like pigeons on popcorn. And they're asking us some of the stupidest questions you've ever heard in your life. And one of them, finally, the woman who was with me got pissed off at one of the people. They said, there was supposedly somebody died in that building over there. Did you see it? And I said, uh, she said, yeah, I saw them taking the body out. I said, what did it look like? <laughs> and she God. yelled at him and she said, he was dead. Now, why don't you just leave us alone and let us get on with our stuff? But they were, the way in which they exploit tragedy is disgusting. And I'm sure you're sick of watching it, Vernon, because, you know, it, it's happening in your back, neck of the woods. Not only that, but all the local TV stations had to send their reporters down there with their live action cams for the 12 o'clock news and then the 4 o'clock news and all and it was all regurgitation. But there, the sometimes shit. It, it winds up that there are more cameras there than there are people in the end. You know, I mean, it just gets ridiculous. One of the sad things about the tornadoes hitting is Kentucky's COVID rate. Uh, you know, they, they talk about uh, in Lexington, 60% of the people are vaccinated. But 100 miles to the east, very few people are, are, are vaccinated. And the hospitals are being overrun now. They're running out of oxygen. They have no beds. And so this is one thing on top of another. And, you know, I, I just. It's it, unvaccinated, though. Screw them. I, it, it just, I don't understand people. It, you know, it's mainly, you know, the, the, the states that are mainly overrun by COVID right now are, guess what? Red Michigan, state. which is a blue state. Okay, but, but Michigan's a different story. But try, uh, try, not, for, wait, wait, wait. try. They're not overrun by COVID. They're un, they're overrun by unvaccinated people. Absolutely. So screw Absolutely. them. That's right. You know, Smart. I mean, uh, you you say Michigan. How about how, why don't you try Texas? Why don't you try uh, 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 Florida? Why don't you illegal. try Kentucky? Why don't you try any one of a number of red states? Tennessee, that, Tennessee, uh, Tennessee that have the highest rates of infection in the country. Well, what Alabama, if, Alabama, what Florida, which doesn't. Yeah, but Florida, Florida you does. Can't trust those records. That Wait, company, Florida that, that does. State is, Phil, that state fought, fired their. Uh, you know, their uh, data analyst that was yeah. in charge of tracking. I mean, I was talking I was work. talking to Albert today, yesterday, and he said, oh, COVID's terrible down here. It's just, yeah. it's a real problem down here. Yeah, that, that, because that of governor, governor, that state is so crooked. He's, yeah. wor he's, he's worse than Trump. The unfortunate thing is he will probably run for president, DeSantis, in 2024. Well, mm, Br yeah, Brian, definitely. hello to Brian. Kind of a big difference between this and Monday shows, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What happened on Monday? Nothing. But, Monday. Like, the, the Monday shows are just. I finally have resubtitled the show "A Bunch of Nice People," uh, you know, because it really <laughs> is just nice people just talking pleasantly with each other about you know the weather, you know, and it, it's so refreshing. That it's or Shecky's movie reviews. Shecky's movie reviews. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I yeah, just, I mean, remember we we keep talking about COVID spikes and all this stuff. If people were vaccinated, you know, it'd be a lot different. Yeah. So can I can I give you some examples of the Bay Area positivity rate right now? I people are look, vaccinated in California. Yeah, That's right. Why. So LA County has one point seven percent positivity rate. A year ago, it was around 12 or 14 percent. San Francisco, San Francisco is 1.8. Alameda County is 1.6, and Contra Costa County is the winner with 2.2 percent positivity rate. Vaccines because people are vaccinated. Work. Vaccines mm -hmm. work. And Phil, I know you don't agree with this. Masking works. 
Yeah. I just said I'm tired of masks. And so masks. Bill, Bill you know, has his mask on right I still, now. I'm tired too, but I, I am too, Phil. I think I'd rather we all be are. tired than dead. Yeah, we're all exhausted. Excellent Phil. point, John. I agree. Huh? But yeah, you know, uh, I really don't see any downside to the mask. I'm tired of it too. But we're tired, but there's nothing we can do about it for the time being. So you know? some of the things that the masking are, is doing that the COVID shots not doing is colds and flus are down in, around here too. Yeah, yeah. The but, mask is responsible for that, not the COVID shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, I mean, uh, what, what are you what are you going to do? You know, I mean, it's it's going to be like this for quite a while. Yeah, I think Phil, so. Phil, uh, Phil, you're not an anti-vaxxer, are you? No. I got all the vaccine shots. Yeah. Well, you're not an anti-vaxxer. Yeah. You, yeah. you believe it. Well, you're a typical I, I don't know if he believes it, but I do, but believe, shots. I do believe that people should have the right to decide whether they want to do it or not. I don't believe that it should be mandated. No, they government. shouldn't have the right. They shouldn't. Yeah, no, they shouldn't. No, they shouldn't. It's because, a public because health issue. Right what, what, what they're doing. It's a public what health issue. What they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. You is, shouldn't have the right to walk around town with your dick hanging out. <laughs> but they do that. And they do that in Tenderloin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, if you go up around church or Castro and Market, uh, you know, the, I know what agree. the law says that if you're nude and you sit on a bench, you have to put a napkin or something underneath yeah, yeah. your push. Yeah. <laughs> you see, when only when, in San Francisco, when you so, when you cause hmm. yourself to be a, the uh, spreader hmm. of disease. You're you're gonna maybe kill somebody by doing that. They'll kill themselves and probably maybe. kill themselves too. But you're gonna take some other people with you, and that should be against the law. Well, if they're vaccinated and they have a mask on, how how you know? If a guy other... goes around yeah, but... shooting a gun in this atmosphere, it's no different than somebody walking around with COVID sneezing. So we're we're vaccinated or with here, AIDS Bill? screwing people. Bill, yes. Yeah. Phil, we're vaccinated around here, and that's why the the positivity numbers are so low. But in the states that Vernon just named, they're not vaccinated, and that's part of the reason the numbers are so damn high. Unless somebody with AIDS had sex with someone and didn't tell them that they had AIDS, uh, they, they weren't prosecuted. What they're doing, so, you know, people could have a deadly disease like AIDS back in the 1980s, and, and uh, you know, you there, was no, get, there was no federal mandate. By somebody. There was no federal mandate. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, if people would spit on people that, uh, you know, you could, you could transfer. There, there, what kind, of, what kind of federal either. mandate would you give in the case of AIDS when there wasn't a vaccination to prevent it? I wouldn't, well... Yeah, I wouldn't have a federal mandate for it or anything else. Well, they they um they closed down all the bathhouses in San Francisco. That's Remember? why Phil is so lonely. But they didn't want <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. They they didn't they didn't close down the bathhouses right away. Yeah, they uh, did. No, Very early in the eighties. Uh, I remember. Wait, wait, hold on a second. A hold on a second, Phil. No, I'll tell you exactly what happened with the yeah. closing down of the of the bathhouses. Uh, there was a there was a uh, uh, the head of, the, of public health in San Francisco was a guy by the name of Mervyn Silverman. I remember the yeah. name. And Mervyn yep. Silverman closed down those bathhouses. And do you know who were the first people to come along and just vilify him for that and ultimately got Silverman fired <clears throat> were the gay publications. And why yes. was it the, wait a minute, why was it the gay publications? They used to advertise because they, 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 almost all of their advertising in those gay publications was for bathhouses. Yeah. What, what was the uh, what was the big gay newspaper uh, in San Francisco? Uh, I don't know. The Examiner. No, no, it's the, no. The no it's, it was something else. The Guardian, not the Guardian. No, the, the Bay, the Bay Area Reporter. Bay Times. Or, Oh. Well, in any event, what yeah. what happened was about what happened else. was no. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, sure. Go ahead, uh, Vernon. What do you want to talk about? Anything oh, Jeff but wants to talk I about just want to. Wait, well, somebody yeah. let yeah. Vernon anything talk. Anything but something, something. Trying to make a, a false equivalency between AIDS and COVID. Yeah, that's right. bullshit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Not yeah. a false equivalence. <clears throat> it, it is. It is a false equivalence. Well, only if yeah. you want. You can't. A you can't. Disease unless you're out. Unless you're out in public, Phil, and you're and you're uh, uh, masturbating and jerking off and spewing your semen on somebody, you're not going to get AIDS from out in public. Well, 
Exactly. The only thing I have to say yeah, about yeah, that is in, the early, right, in the early stages of AIDS, they really didn't know how it was being spread. So in the beginning of it, the first few years, then you could say it's pretty much the same. It didn't take that long. Jeff wanted to say something. Well, it was never, at least a year. Yeah, I, oh, wait a minute, Jeff. I just wanted uh, everybody to realize that that the number of universities and colleges are closing down right now as often as they can. It's the end of the season. Yep. And they're yep, saying, they are. get out of yes. here. Right. Go home. Don't stay here. Take your university and work at home again. But which I, they yeah. started, but now they're going back to it. But I agree with Vernon that, you know, the equivalency of this, when you, when you say, well, what about AIDS? You know, I mean, it has nothing to do with this. Entirely different form of transmission. I, I, Wait a minute. Entirely different situation. And, and uh, I think if there was anything that was wrong with those times was uh, Ronald Reagan's total uh, obliviousness to the AIDS problem and Absolutely. saying almost saying it wasn't dangerous or didn't exist or whatever Absolutely. for the longest time until he, enough people died. C. C. You know. Everett Koop was the, uh, uh, not Attorney General, what do you call him? The uh, Surgeon General. The uh, medical, medical, medical Surgeon guy Surgeon. for that. And he told, uh, he told, Reagan, uh, time and time again, this is not a gay disease. This is going to affect straight people too. And Reagan, until his last year in office, never said the word publicly AIDS. What a great Republican. Yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of people died because of him. Just like our last Republican. Our last Republican but, killed about uh, how many? Almost a half a million people. Yep. Uh, about as about the same amount that the current one has killed the uh, current. No, Democrat. no, 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 Phil. It's close no. enough. No, no. There were almost there were like five five hundred thousand dead by the time Trump left office. Maybe more. No, uh, you're, you're getting your statistics from CNN. No, <laughs> I don't. I don't Biden, believe those statistics. Biden's telling everybody to vaccinate. That's the He's difference. also telling everybody yeah. to wear a mask, unlike yeah. Trump. I, th I think Biden gets a cut uh, from Big Pharma. Let, let's talk about the mandate, because it, it really yeah. frustrates yeah. me when I see politicians get up here and talk about no mandates. You know, we shouldn't have mandates. But if you listen to what the uh, Biden administration was talking about as far as contractors for the federal government, number one, OK, if you're a contractor for the federal government, you need to implement either or either the employees get vaccinated or they run through a more rigid testing protocol. It's not vaccinate or get fired. It's you vaccinate or you get tested how come, much more well, rigorously. How come in, in they uh, always want to forget about the second part? No, how, Vernon, how come in New York, uh, all of these firefighters and nurses and so forth are being fired because they're not uh, uh, taking the shot due to the mandate? There's hardly I any. Don't know. I don't There's... know about New York, Phil, so <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you don't either. There's what hardly you know about, any. To begin with, about we have very interesting to on Fox News. I yeah. was born there. To begin yeah. with, yeah. Here, here in New York, so we have why. a very high vaccination rate. Yeah. Okay. One of the largest in the country. But I have to say, people, Alex, the FDNY and the police have one of the lowest vaccination rates. in Not, uh, in, not no. anymore, Tony. Yeah, yeah the num the it's about are, maybe 70 percent, Alan. The, number, so, well, the numbers are coming up. Yeah, but if you, if, if you, are, if you, you are a cop, if you, if you are in, in service of the city and you no. are not vaccinated, goodbye, your job is over. Yeah, no. Well, that's what they're trying to Pack push Pack your you, stuff yeah. up and go home, you know. Yeah. And I think that's the thing to do. The you military know. is doing that. The military just uh, gave dishonorable discharges, not the the Air Force uh, branch of the military, to 72 <laughs> members that refused to get vaccinated. Goodbye. Didn't they do the same thing in California? I think there were. I saw some California Highway Patrolman saying, "This is my last day on the job," or something. Yeah, it, I, I don't think they're doing that. They're not forcing it. You know, the governor came up with a mandate that all public employees, including police and fire, have to get it. But, you know, I don't I haven't heard of a lot of firing happening. Mm -hmm. Didn't they, didn't they uh, postpone uh, uh, firing and so forth when they uh, were met with these uh, with these issues? Maybe yeah, so. 
that nobody was getting fired because there were so few people that weren't uh, following the mandate. I, I wouldn't yeah, say nobody. Kevin, but, yeah, Kevin, you want few. to get your two cents worth in here? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to Kevin. Kevin? Hello, Kevin. Kevin, can you hear us? I just want to know if you wanted to get your two cents worth in here. No, go for it. I've, I've been kind of half in and a half out. Oh, okay. Well, oh, put them all in jail. <laughs> <laughs> when when you're half out, what are you doing? Uh, I'm not half in. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Um, um, you know, I mean, it's. It, I agree with Vernon that you you can't equate what's been going on now with almost anything that's happened in the past. You always try to go well. What what about this? Well, what about ism doesn't work here, you know? This is a very unusual situation. We've never been faced with anything quite like this. Um, we could argue that uh, the Spanish flu was an equivalent, but it wasn't really because today, if the Spanish flu came along, I think just antibiotics would take care of it, you know? Mm -hmm. so, so the way they got rid of the Spanish flu, there were no vaccines. Vaccines had not been prevented. And I know this okay. is going to be a shock to you, Phil, but the way they got rid of people for to stop them from getting uh, the, the the Spanish flu was something called a mask. They 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 the public health officials uh, oh, in San Francisco. I, I disagree with you. Cities, that prevented people from getting it. That's right. And if yeah. you look at pictures yeah, back wrong. then, yes, people were all people. people and that really slowed down. Minute, well, hold the on a second. Flu. Let me fit, let me say what I was going to say. They, they if you see pictures of that period. You see people wearing masks all over the place. It looks like it had been taken yesterday yeah. here. Absolutely. But, but, you know mm. the, how it came to an end? No. Enough people I don't know. Uh, no, on a Monday, it suddenly disappeared. It just suddenly disappeared. Mm. Nobody can figure out why. But all mm. of a sudden, it just mm. burned itself out. Sunday, you had Spanish flu. Monday, no new cases. So mm. we're, we, we could be, mm. we could be, I'm sorry, Tony, we could yeah. be at the end of uh, the, the, the like Delta uh, versions of, of variants. So Omicron is spreads quickly, kind of like a cold, but for the most people right now, what they know about it is that it's not making people deathly ill. They're not getting hospitalized and dying. And so there's a theory out there uh, in England that the, that uh, it may be taking its course too, and the variants are going to become Weak. less deadly, less deadly than Delta, right. and that would be a nice okay. thing. Tony, yeah, and you know another thing to take into effect with the Spanish flu mm -hmm. is that we didn't have the transportation we had back now that we had back then. That's why we're now with this, when we well, got no, hit with this, what, what people, happened with today? If we had Spanish flu, antibiotics would probably take care of it. That's simple. I mean, and plus it was more isolated, right, Alex? Back then, because they could, you had no planes, you had really no mass transportation to get it out of a certain now area. Now you know where the Spanish flu started. Where did they get that from? All around. On an army Kansas. base here in the United States. It was in Kansas. It was in Kansas, Kansas. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, an Kansas, army base. Colorado, what's yeah. the difference? Yeah. One less tornado. It's a book to read right here. Oh, okay. What's yeah. it called? I just, I, we couldn't... I just started it. But... What's it called? The, um, the great influence. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be good. Yeah. 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 Amazon? I didn't read that. You were trying to I say something, it. Vernon? Sorry? You were trying to say something? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, by yeah. the way, Tony keeps saying he wants to come out and stay on my sofa. Yeah, I might visit them. Look, look behind me. Just pick one of those <laughs> tents. You can I can see that right down the block from you by the Queens Boulevard, actually. <laughs> Is that your street? That's, oh, my that's God, the street that, really... that Phil lives on. No, no, that's where I live. You see, I'm the, the, the one with the blue top. Yeah. yeah. Very stylish. Yeah. I see. I didn't know you were homeless, Phil. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. I'm not homeless. I, you know, just uh, four tents down on the he's, left. He's supplying all the <laughs> tents with carpet. Yeah. Please? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, uh, we, um, it, it's just, um, I, I just don't understand why people don't have a feeling. Some people don't have a feeling. Um, I think, I think okay, you're right, Alex. Let me, so, let me finish, so Tony. Phony, Tony, let me oh, finish what I was yeah, saying. Why is it every time I start talking, somebody suddenly interrupts oh. me, I, you know? Um, it, it, and I try to not interfere much and let you guys go at it. Um, 
But the thing is that 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 there should be a sense of community here that just doesn't exist among a certain group of people. When you say, Phil, that well, people shouldn't be forced to blah blah blah. No, they shouldn't. Ha we shouldn't have to force them. That's right. <clears throat> We no, shouldn't. We shouldn't have to have force them. To force them but I agree with because that because they won't they do volunteer. It. Yes. 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 Uh, and I think that you would get less resistance, uh, and you would have more people volunteering if you didn't have these mandates. My kids are forced to take shots, vaccination shots, to go to school. They're kids. Phil, yeah, what's the difference? Do so does that mean all the kids should get vaccinated? Then they should be mandatory vaccinated. I don't think that the kids need the vaccinations, you know, uh, putting a five-year-old or a three-year-old or an infant in a mask. Do you know another, there are infants? I don't have an infant, thank God. Do you another know? Republican that knows more about science and medicine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, at least I know a little more about weight loss. Who died and made you Dr. Fauci? That's yeah, right. really. You know. All right. Uh, but, I mean, I, uh, I, it's, it's just a matter of people having – being decent citizens and saying, we know the way you wipe this thing out is get a shot, wear a mask, okay? But you have a whole segment of the public, and I needn't tell you who the majority of those people are, Phil, who are resisting getting the, uh, the, uh, the vaccination, resist wearing the masks, and uh, they're doing that, and they are endangering the rest of the public. You know, and they're slowing down the progress of getting rid of this disease. Absolutely. And they're dying. So, so to, to they're un-American, Phil. To separate, uh, to take politics out of the picture, we're going to continue. Even if everybody in this country was fully vaccinated today, variants are going to come up and cause issues because most of them are being developed outside our country. And so, you've got to really vaccinate Hello? the world. Not just Alan developed. You mean uh, there's uh, they're 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 making these uh, variants uh, in in a lab or? No, I didn't say that. Well, you said they're being. Where did, where did the one from the Omicron come from? Somebody. Well, Marvel. Got... That sounds like a Marvel character. South Africa. Yeah. Omicron. <laughs> Omicron. Yeah. Well, That's a great idea. Sounds like an Avengers uh, title. You know. I just watched Hawkeye. It was good the last episode. What? Yeah. Hawkeye. You got to watch it. I just watched the last episode. It's actually Yeah, good. I'm still in the... I was halfway through it before I came in to do the show. Oh, I won't tell you what happens at the end. <laughs> well, uh, they all uh, die. Uh, they all die. No, but yeah. that's that's, uh, <laughs> that's Scarlett Johansson's sister, right? Yeah, I, I, yeah. But you'll see who comes... A bad guy comes in at the end, you'll see. Trump? I'm... Anybody? I'm okay. I'm okay with the good, Republicans good, good. not getting vaccinated as long as they don't in infect the Democrats because the 2022 election's coming up and maybe they won't have enough people to vote. Anybody watching Yellowstone? No. <laughs> no. 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 You, know, you know what I was going to ask Vernon, Vernon too? Like, I agree with Vernon. I just can't get over, like, the whole self, the, the whole how these people are so against taking it back. Is it more of a political statement? I was just trying to wrap my head around it. Well, it's, it, right, Vernon, it's become a political issue, and it shouldn't be. Since when right. is good health a political issue? Right. Well, at one time, at one time, you know, being a good American meant looking out for your fellow man. Mm -hmm. It means being a good citizen. It means doing more for the society as a whole, even if you have to sacrifice a little bit personally. That has gone out the window with today's political environment, and it makes me sick. Yep, I agree. Yeah. Well, it was also when we go to the store, there's so many people who don't wear a mask. You take a gun with you and shoot them. I, te I tell you, I don't I, have a gun. I did mention oh, to Marjorie. I'll say you allow it. I did. I did mention to Marjorie. And uh, it, it was the case that we had here today. I got a delivery of a, uh, of a you know, a half refrigerator, a, a beverage, a beverage yeah. uh, cooler. Half a refrigerator? For, yeah. Like and one of those wine I, yeah, refrigerators? Yeah, and the guy brought it in, and he wasn't wearing a mask, and neither were we. <laughs> I mean, it's just gotten to the point where if, you've got, if you're vaccinated, you just go, oh, yeah. yeah. But I thought about it. And I went. We, maybe we should have. I feel you uncomfortable. Know? You know, I I should have made him show his papers. 
Yeah. I yeah. go into people's yeah. houses and sometimes they're not wearing a mask and but I'm wearing it because it's it's the rule, you know, in Contra Costa County, mm-hmm. you uh, if you're conducting business or you're inside, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I wear the mask. Plus, I don't want to get sick, you know, so uh, I'm wearing the mask for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there you go. There's there's the bottom line. You're you're right on target. But, Phil. you know, when you talk about uh, about uh, being a loyal American, OK, uh, you, being um, a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Being a patriot, a patriot, a patriot. Patriotic. isn't part of being a patriot, you know, doing this, taking care of this, right. you know? Yes, uh, John. So when I when I work at the Golden Gate Theater, mm-hmm. usually most of the crowd is in their, you know, 70s, 60s and 80s, mm-hmm. and they're all masked up and stuff, you know. But then when I work at the Warfield, it's always a younger crowd. And they they don't none of those people wear masks. They're just like fuck it, you know. Yeah, you ought to shoot them too. Yeah. Well, we're getting a lot. Aren't we getting a lot of uh, a lot of concerts where people aren't wearing masks and these? I don't know. You see theater, everybody's masked up. You know. Okay. Uh, Indoors, you should be masked. Outside. You know, really, I mean, it doesn't. It's not. Uh, no, I, I think if you're you know in a crowd with a couple of thousand people. It's not a it's not a bad idea, even if there was no uh, uh, Omicron or COVID. Maybe it's still not a bad idea. <laughs> how, how did how did you all of a sudden change your 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 thinking in the period change. of less than an hour? I didn't well, change. Anyway, I just well, said I was tired of wearing the mask. Okay. That uh, isn't uh, necessarily uh, that I wasn't. To change yeah, the subject, yeah, yeah. to change the subject for a quick second. I went in the grocery store today and I just bought like two bags worth of stuff. Not much more than bucks. I normally buy. 100 bucks. 50 bucks. Mm-hmm. You know, went up, I mean, I uh, this, huh? If I bought 50 in the old, it, it, five years ago, 10 years ago in New York City, if I bought uh, 50 bucks worth of food, I'd have to make it that so they hard. deliver it to my house. Hey, yeah. you know, out here, I'm paying five bucks for, for regular. Uh, and, and, you know, probably do you have to put premium Brian in, in your car? Yeah, but there's one down here. It's a four sixty right now. Oh, okay. Whoa. You yeah. know, uh, uh gas has certainly gone up and, and gas is just one thing. I guess meat is also. Well, now we'll, hold on a second. I, mm-hmm. uh, I can always price meat by what I pay for it at a certain <clears throat> time. I like to make ribs. Okay. And uh, get baby back ribs. And I get down the street and I get a slab of it like this for ten bucks. It's twenty five bucks now <gasps> yeah, for a smaller a slab. Kosher baby back said, rib, nice. Go yeah. to Stop and Shop. But I mean, no, but no. I'm saying you go to Stop and Shop, you're gonna find They're it expensive. expensive. Yeah. And you know what I, they wanted for I, a head I, of lettuce I, and stew lettuce, I Alex? I went with my sister five dollars for a head of lettuce. I, I put it. Holy shit! I, I was a yeah. I, four four yes. inches, almost five bucks. Vernon. The problem we are having in Louisville is not supply of food or medicines. It's people. Our, our Walgreens drugstore that we used to frequent, now we've changed, are so short on pharmacists that we had to switch over to a CVS because these guys are closing every Sunday because they don't have enough people to keep the pharmacy open on Sunday. The Kroger's that's right down the street from me, mm-hmm. it's a mile and a half from me, their meat counter is empty almost every day, and it's because they don't have employees to man the meat counter. You know, uh, Vernon, uh, I read something this morning about pharmacists that they are so they're getting burned out uh, because they're also doing the COVID shots along with delving out the pills and things, and they're saying that their accuracy on on doing the pharmacy work is being impacted by the extra strain of doing the uh, COVID vaccinations and flu shots. And uh, so, and they're also, they're understaffed. And so they're quitting. Talk uh, about, talk about burnout. Talk about the doctors and nurses. If everybody had got vaccinated this year, the hospitals, then if you go in for a heart attack or something like that, you can get treated. But with people not vaccinated, then you, you you know the whole hospital's full of COVID patients. How do we get back to this? 
I was, I, I, was, I was trying to move the subject over to the cost of living, <laughs> and, and all of a Alan's sudden, a broken you, record. A, a, Alan's back with, with COVID. Yeah, COVID yeah. and Republicans. Are you guys fighting? No, no, no. no. I, we do very, this there's a lot of tension tonight. Hey, oh, no, you, we, you, you want to hear us on the phone. We do this I don't, on the I phone. don't think Alan <laughs> actually, I don't, I don't think Alan actually listens to the show. Hmm? I think he's just thinking of what he's going to say next. <laughs> you know, ah, the only right. thing I've seen right. come come back down is plywood. Plywood is actually coming back down in price. It was over a hundred dollars for a big sheet. Now it's back down to fifty again. Really? Uh, down to 50. It hasn't come all the way down. Okay, but. so it, it's Wire, it's higher at the Home Depot has come back down a little bit too. Oh, yeah. At one time last year, a two hundred and fifty foot roll of twelve two Romex was almost two hundred dollars. It's dropped back down now to about one fifty. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so my friend was showing pictures from uh, from Home Depot. I, I forgot you worked there. Hey, if yeah. if prices don't come down, I'm going to start using knob and tube. <laughs> instead of, well, instead what's surprising of, is when we when we were short on supply, even when the prices went up on wire, and I work in the electrical department at my store, even with the prices going up, the the construction in Jefferson County has been through the roof for the last year and a half. Everywhere. Well, yeah, we've good. been we've been doing our whole house, and yeah, they he had to up, increase the price a little bit because of the plywood. So, but now it's come back down. So, Jeff, just... how are expensive things where you are? Who? Jeff? Yo, uh, the prices of eggs are like double what they were the other day. Really? really? And they had hardly eggs at the same time. So, Pam had to go to another store. Wow. To get eggs yesterday. Wow. That's today. amazing. Yeah, I always buy the 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 most expensive egg I can find that's uh, organic, and the price has gone up considerably. I used to pay like six, seven dollars a, a dozen. Now it's like twelve, thirteen. Six dollars for eggs? I can get it for like two fifty. This is the guy that stops for breakfast at McDonald's and gets his uh, uh, Mc Mc. Whatever sandwich in the, the price egg, egg. those are eleven bucks. Quickly, 11 Ke bucks. Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, how are how are how, how are prices in your neck of the woods? They're about the same, except I get my eggs down the street from a friend on a farm for free, mm. pretty much. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I... careful. Phil's going to be knocking on your door soon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> get free range. <laughs> Uh, yep, duck eggs or or chicken eggs, whatever. I never whatever understood. I never understood free range. What is that exactly? Well, I mean, the know. chickens walk no around. Cages. No, no in, cages. No cages. But you know, I mean, here the chicken goes. Hey, you know, this isn't bad. You know, I got it. Yeah, and then they cut his head off. I mean, it ends up the same way. Uh, they got TVs for the chickens. <laughs> it winds up, but it winds up the same way. And I, quite frankly, would like to. Eat a chicken that has nothing left to live for. You well, know? have you have you ever seen how they uh, pack these chickens in and 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 the way they're? I'm just had chicken for dinner. I mean, if you saw the have way you ever they tried to converse chicken? with a chicken, yeah, I had it for dinner. I had bolus. You know, they always are trying to cross the road. <laughs> Why do they do that, Phil? Uh, get to they get side. to the other side. Yeah, okay, I've, I've just had to yeah, ask the cable. That. <laughs> I just had to ask that. Well, we've had an interesting evening this evening, and I'm glad to see Vernon oh, that you're in out of not in harm's way yet. Safe and sound. Safe and sound. Safe and sound. So you're 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 in. Yeah, I looked you up on the FCC website to see where you're at. So I knew Louisville was out of the range. Yeah. Yeah, but here's the here's the thing: all the uh, damage and, and uh, uh, injuries that they had down in that part of the state. There's only two trauma hospitals in Kentucky. One's in Louisville and one's in Lexington. And each one of them is like a two-hour helicopter yeah. flight. Wow. wow. Anyway, hey, listen, that's it. Thank you, Phil, for sticking around. Alan, thank you so much for the medical advice. Um, Dr. Allen. Uh, uh, Dr. Allen. Dr. Allen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, also, uh, thanks to uh, John Larkin and to Tony Magno and to, of course, Vernon Nunn. Jeff, always good to see you here. Kevin, always great to have you here. It's always a pleasure to have uh, Brian around as well. And uh, how's the kid? Okay? Cool? Yeah, yeah, she's doing good. We haven't seen her tonight. What's up with that? No, no. She's, she's growing up. Okay? 
Anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, folks. There goes our citizen panel. All right, they're gone. And uh, anyway, I still haven't figured out why I'm out of sync, but uh, what the hell? Who cares? It's only the end of the show, and so you don't have to see me and, you know. Anyway, uh, 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 Jack Bishop is next. He's here with The Intersection. And uh, he'll be here until uh, for an hour. So he's going to be taking your calls as well. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Yeah, 1030 Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, Eastern Time, rather. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. See you later. By the way, wear a mask.